All right, overall energy for Pisces. All right, exchanging gifts and all that glitters. And then TikTok, round and round. You guys always get that card, round and round. Um, Pisces, uh, all that glitters and exchanging gifts. I feel like this could be a caution to you. Be careful. Somebody might be trying to give you gifts or money or shower you with things, take you out, wine and dine you, but... Mm, be careful. All that glitters isn't gold. There could be a mask or a facade with this person. I feel like there's a big caution or warning label or a red flag being shown here. Okay, so just be careful. Um, if it seems too good to be true, it just might be. Um, the timing could also maybe be off. Round and round. This person might be... I don't know. Let's get into their energy. See what's going on. What's going on with this person for Pisces? What's going on? All that glitter is just, it, it makes me a little nervous. This could go completely in a different direction. Maybe this person is giving you gifts because you don't see that they really like you. They really care about you. Um, you may have known this person from childhood or from the past here. We have the sun, Leo energy and six of cups. You might even have children with this person and they're trying to get you back, you know. Um, but I feel like this person, when it comes to you, you make them happy. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Current energy is for Pisces person. What else is going on for Pisces person? Nine of Wands. <sighs> That's the wounded warrior fighting the good fight, or this person could have their walls up. I feel like this person's trying to fight for you, and that's what it is. They might be giving everything they got to you just to try and get you back or get you. <laughs> I feel like they're fighting for you. Um, and then temperance, divine timing, Sagittarius energy, something with patience, divine timing, the right time. Going with the flow, divinely guided. All right, what else? Current energies. What else is going on with this person? The lovers, Gemini energy. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> you may you may have rejected this person, Pisces, at some point in the past or recently. I feel like you may have rejected this person. For whatever reason you may have thought they were fake you may have not liked to get showered with gifts some people don't like that it's too strong they may have been coming on too strong and you may have rejected them um i feel like there is something divinely guided here though huge huge message a soulmate bond connection the lovers that's how this person i feel sees you uh, Seven of Wands, they want to protect this. Ten of Pentacles, loyalty, long-term, spending the rest of your life together. Could even mean marriage. You, you make this person very happy, Pisces. Whether, you know, you feel, you know, if you feel like they're coming on too strong or if this is someone from the past who screwed up, they may have learned a lesson here. They may have. But I do feel you you rejected this person. <laughs> All right, let's see what's blocking this connection. What's blocking this connection? Queen of Wands, Aries, energy. Uh, Ace of Cups, a new start. Five of Pentacles, abandon. The shadow side, the devil card, Capricorn energy in reverse as a blockage. Ace of Wands in reverse. Pisces, you may just not be attracted to this person. Or you feel like there's no chemistry, there's no passion, there's no attraction. If there was some kind of like a third party or cheating thing that went on, you may just be really turned off by them. Um, wanting to abandon it, wanting to reject them, and they're trying to get you back. I'm really feeling like this person is trying to get you back. Um, this person may have acted single or had temptation from somebody. And I feel like you're blocking this new start in love here. Mm. 
You don't want to deal with it again. You don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to go through it again. Yeah, see, so Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles is being blocked. Six of Swords, though. I feel like this person can't move on from you. And that's why they're trying to, like, shower you with gifts. When I say gifts, it's like, let me take you out to dinner or sending you flowers or sending you candy or, or something like that. Uh, the Chariot and then Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I, you, you just don't want to put in the work and effort here to move this thing forward. Pisces, keep in mind this could be reverse flip-flopped, okay? So uh, I'm talking about your person, but it could be you. Yeah, somewhat you, I feel I'm just going to make it easy. You're, you're continuing to walk away from this person, and they're continuing to try and get you back. How does this person truly feel about you, Pisces? How do they truly feel about you? The High Priestess in reverse, or High Priest, I mean, sorry, in reverse. Four of Wands, Eight of Cups, again, King of Wands, Leo energy. You're, they see, okay, they want commitment with you. They feel like you don't want commitment with them and you're continuing to walk away towards a level up here towards something that you actually want, desire, and feel like it's a win for you. Could have something to do with house and home, um, just leveling up, commitment, 1111, make a wish, wish is coming true, a reason to celebrate. They're still very much attracted to you. They could feel like you're going out and meeting new people, and I don't think they like that, the star Aquarius energy. You're healing from this, or you're following some kind of a wish. I'm taking a leap of faith with the Fool, Page of Pentacles, putting down a burden here, Ten of Wands. Could have been a third-party situation at some point, and now they're trying to make up for it. I just feel like you're kind of like, how, the trust is broken. How How is that going to get repaired? They're trying, but I don't think you're buying it. Let's see. Potential outcome here for Pisces. There's that lover. Someone's going to make a decision here for a wish fulfillment. Gemini energy again. I feel like if this person doesn't get their way, though, they could be a little smug or stubborn or bratty. <laughs> Throws a fit, you know, like I'm trying to do all this to make up for it. And it's like, but the damage has already been done. You know. Let's see what else potential outcome. Keep in mind, you both have free will. The outcome could change, but. Let's see, Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. This, and commitment, this may come back around, you guys. You may choose to give this person another chance after you take some time, look at the big picture, do some reflecting, healing. Yeah, there's reconciliation on the table here. Strength, Leo energy, so strength, courage, confidence, judgment, scorpionic energy, a reconciliation, a wake-up call, uh, karma, a cycle has been fulfilled, a lesson has been learned, page of pentacles, and temperance, Sagittarius energy, divine timing, again, temperance is here twice. Commitment, ace of wands, I feel like this is going to get restored, so if you're cross-watching or Pisces, it's reversed. I feel like this is going to get restored here, reconciled between the two of you. Commitment will be back in action. This person wants commitment with you, but they feel they've they've ruined it. And that's why they're that's why it's all that glitters. Like it's like they're overcompensating to try and make up for this. You know, it could be leaving you feel feeling a little bit stuck or your hands are tied right now because you don't know what to do. So it could be a little bit overwhelming, but I do see it coming back to commitment here. 
it's going to take a little bit of strength and courage. I feel like on your part to actually forgive this person or accept what has happened in the past or why this fell apart. I feel like your person did have a wake up call, you know, it's like, don't know what you got till it's gone. And now they're, they're coming in hot for you. All right. Biggest obstacles, uh, adventure. So learning from this yourself, um, inner voice, following your intuition, following your intuition. Look, I mean, looking at this from a different perspective of it, it was an adventure. It was a lesson. It was a cycle. Something was, this was supposed to happen or meant to happen. All right. And innocence, restoring that innocence to this connection, forgiveness, love, care, mm, deception. Yeah, there it is. Mask, illusion, duplicity, look beyond the superficial, marriage, legal partnership, commitment. So you could have been married to this person or they want marriage. They want commitment. So take that how it resonates. Memories, nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go. Yeah, this person's definitely thinking of you. Looking at pictures, memories. What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces? What are the messages? Last quarter, moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. So maybe just go in in silence and just sit with your emotions for a little you know full moon in scorpio that just passed breathe through the tension new moon in leo time to shine and take a breather last quarter moon in cancer take a breather yeah i feel like you need to just kind of take a, a minute for yourself pisces with this and just really go within reflect listen to your intuition um, you know, I'm going to get it, pull some letters and numbers and see what Zodiac sign you're, you could be dealing with. All right. In a minute. So stick around. All right, what else? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. This person could have had something with addiction in the past, and that's that's why you chose to left. So all that glitters and exchange. So they're trying to make up for what they've done, and that could be why you're you're pushing so hard to keep this person at a distance. You know they could have put you through the ringer. Clock, again, need time, takes time, time and cycles, time to heal, progress. Yeah, camera. They're definitely looking back on old memories, pictures, but look. There's definitely a big divine timing message coming through here for you guys. Maybe the timing was off, you know. All right, what would this person like to say to you if they could? I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Yeah, they're... They're struggling here, losing you. It's easier being with someone from my world. So they could have been with somebody who also had an addiction or didn't hold them in high regard or to standards, you know, and they thought it was easier going in a different direction. And now they're realizing it's not. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. Yeah, that's why they're really trying hard to come back. They think you moved on. All right, let's see letters of who you could be dealing with. All right, what do we got? We have U, R, N, D, and S. U, R, N, D, and S. That could be their initials, letter of their first name, last name. Um, let's take that how it resonates. It doesn't have to be. All right. Let's see, numbers could be uh, birthdays, anniversaries. We have 1111. Look up angel number 1111, and then we have five and six. So, 
could be May, June, or November. Could be the 5th, 6th, or the 11th of any month. Um, could be any day. <laughs> All right, what else do we got here? So you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, a Virgo, or a Scorpio. Uh, could be any sign, you guys. It doesn't have to be these signs or these dates. You know, if the message is for you, you know it's for you. Um, just wanted to add a little extra to your guys' readings. So... Uh, take it all how it resonates.